Hi, I'm Rashmi and I'm a children's author. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my very first author Q&A. Today's questions are from one of my book pen pal schools, Queen's Park Primary. So hello and thank you very much for your wonderful letters, beautifully illustrated too. I've really enjoyed reading these and I enjoyed reading all of your kind words about how to be extraordinary. I'm so glad that you like this book. You've said that it was interesting, amazing, and many of you said that it blew your mind. So that makes me and the illustrator Annabelle very, very happy. And thank you also for your book recommendations. You've recommended lots of books here, but three that came up a lot were the Tom Gates series by Liz Pichon, fantastic books. Um, and also People of Peace and Fantastic Footballers. They're two beautiful books in the same series. I am going to put all of the details of the titles, authors and illustrators down in the description. So if you're watching, you can pick those books up if you like the sound of them. Now, on to your questions. Question number one. Can we have a tea bag as a character in a book? I think that's a great question. And the answer is yes, you can do what you like in a book. And here's someone who has got a tea bag in their book. Um, Marie Basting in Princess BMX has a tea bag called Tyson. So anything is possible when it comes to books. Next question. Why did you want to become an author? So I've always loved writing when I, you know, I grew up writing stories, poems, comics, even plays. And now I love that I get to take those things and make them into actual real books. I think that's incredible. And of course, children's books are the best books that there are, as you know. Next question is, what is your favorite color? A very important question there. Um, you might have guessed it from my YouTube channel, yellow. It's my favorite because it is so shiny and happy and uplifting. Next question is, why did you make this book? So we made How To Be Extraordinary because we wanted to make a book that appealed to everyone. We wanted there to be something in there for everyone, no matter where you're from or what you're interested in. If you're interested in spies or sport or science or art, there's something in this book for you, someone you can relate to, someone you can connect with. So that's why we made that book. Next question is, do you like ice skating? Do you know, I've never been ice skating. I always wanted to go. And then at one point I just thought, oh, maybe I'm just too old to learn now. But that's not true, is it? You're never too old to learn anything. So I think when things change in the big wide world, I think I'm gonna go and give it a go, thanks to you. Next question is, do you like football? So I don't watch much football, but I do love watching the World Cup. And when that's on, I like watching Italy and Argentina and Brazil. And this person has also said that their favourite books are Spider-Man and Star Wars. So I wanted to show you something. This is a graphic novel, a comic, um, Star Wars, the original trilogy. And I've just picked this up and it looks amazing. So if you're interested in Star Wars, you like comics, have a look at this. Okay, right. Next question. Um, how old are you? Ah, uh, lots of you have asked this for some reason. I'm not gonna answer that one. I'm gonna leave it to you to guess. I don't know if that's dangerous, but that's what I'm gonna do. Were you always a writer? It depends what you mean. I've always been a storyteller, I think. I've been telling stories since before I could write. Um, but I haven't always been a children's author. I used to be a lawyer. Next question is, have you read Spider Sandwich, Kevin the Koala and Tom Gates? Now, I've read Tom Gates and I love that series. I haven't read Spider Sandwich or Kevin the Koala, but I'm going to look those up thanks to you. Another person's asking, have you read People of Peace? And yes, I have. It is a beautiful book. That's an excellent recommendation. Uh, a couple of you have asked, what's my favourite book? And some of you even said, well, it's my favourite book of all time. Now, that's a really difficult question. Um, I'm going to have to think about it and I'm going to make another video, I think, with that. So thank you for that question. But I will tell you what I've read recently that I thought was brilliant. Um, recently, I have read Sky Pirates by Alex English, uh, which is out in July, and The Ship of Shadows by Maria Kuzniar, which is out in July as well. Um, and have a look at those if you like adventure stories. Um, they're fantastic. Next one, a couple of you have asked me whether I know about climate change. Now, I have actually been learning a lot about climate change as part of a new book that I'm working on, but it's all top secret, so I can't tell you much about it. Um, but I think it's an important thing that we all need to look at. And it looks like you have been looking into it, so that is brilliant. 
Um, a lot of you have asked whether I can visit your school and you sent these letters before the lockdown. Um, but I just wanted to say that when things get better, and they will get better, I would absolutely love to visit your school and I would love to talk to you in person. I've really enjoyed reading your letters and yeah, I would, I'd love to see, come and see you. One of you said, oh, sadly you can't. And that's not true, I can and I will one day. Last question is, please, can you make a new book? Oh, I am always making new books. Don't you worry. But I'm going to tell you about the next few books that I have coming out. Um, the next one is a bit younger than than um, the and then How to Be Extraordinary. This is Never Show a T Rex a book. It's my first fiction picture book, and it's a super silly adventure. So that's the first one that's coming out in August. After that, I don't have a copy of it. Um, but after that, late August is Dosh. Um, it's all about money, how to earn it save it, spend it, grow it and give it away. And that's coming out at the end of August. Um, so look out for that one. And then a sequel to How to Be Extraordinary is How to Change the World. And this one, again, illustrated by Annabelle Tempest, is coming out in January. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer. But if you liked How to Be Extraordinary, I think you'll love this because this one is about movements and the things that we can do when we work together. So... I think that's all of your questions for now. Um, again, thank you for your letters. I hope this answers your questions and I look forward to writing to you and hearing from you again. Take care, bye.